Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And guess what today's video is? I'm so excited. Guess what this video is? Guess. Guess. So hey guys, um, I'm currently filming, fil filming. I still have a little bit of the cough still remaining, not like a little bit. I've been coughing a lot less, so that's good. And I have my tissues here because I have my allergies. It wasn't as bad as this morning, but I'm starting to get some mucus now, so I'm just having some clinic, so that's why if I blow my nose in the middle of the video. Um, and I just love, I maybe it's kind of a little snotty and like a little nosy and want to see like, oh, what should I bring? But I feel like they're very helpful, and I've gotten all my inspirations from a lot of what I got from my current, and I filmed it. I filmed some of this last week's video, but it didn't work out. So I kind of just took half of the video that could obviously be a video on it by itself. So that's why I kind of just separated it and all that stuff. Let's just get right into this video. So I know I'm in a different spot, but now let's get into what's in my carry-on. Now, this is a carry-on bag that I always use. And I don't always use. I got it last summer because when I got my carry-on to Chicago last summer... It ripped during when I was looking it through the airport because it was super heavy and it's just like it ripped like the this part completely teared off the bag. And so I just need a new one. I got this for like $30 at Target. It's from the Skyline brand. Let's see what's in here. I think it's from my last year. I just never took it out. I could bring this. So yeah. So let's just get right into what I get on my carry-on. The thing I always have to bring is deodorant because... You never know when you're going to stink or you feel like crap on the airplane. I always do, so I, deodorant's kind of a must for me. So deodorant, gel, if you want it to last longer, get gel. The next thing I bring is my Polaroid album. Now, I don't really pack this with my suitcase because it's really, I like to keep it with me and it just has a ton of Polaroids that I've, took and just all that stuff so that's in there and I felt like I should bring a Polaroid book because I'm going to take Polaroids there and it's just a better way to keep track of them and to protect them so you don't lose them because when I took a ton of Polaroids I lost like eight of them and I only could find two so this is a very good thing to have to keep organized with your, with your photos. Next thing I'll bring is my phone now um obviously you need your phone uh I usually like bringing my phone because I want Starbucks to the airport Starbucks back on here, have money on my card, gonna get Starbucks, and honestly, need to call people when you get landed, need to, um, you just, it's, 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 um, it's a must. You, uh, there's this app on the phone that is very helpful, so, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get, like, right into the details. So yeah, that app is very helpful for me because it is completely free. You don't have to spend any money on um, on uh, music. And it is just so helpful. And you just wait till that little orange bar fills and you have completely can replay all you want without internet. And you can also do it with YouTube videos. You don't have to do it with music. I've done it with YouTube videos, so I'm going to be using this with that. So I'm very excited. Or a pencil and a pen. Because you never know when you're going to need to write something or if you have anything that you want to do on the airplane that requires having a pen or a pencil. Um, the next thing I have are my little must-haves. Now this is my portable charger that I got for like $5 off Amazon. I think it holds up to one iPhone charge, which is all I need. I don't use my iPhone that much, but it's just very helpful. It's a cheap, inexpensive thing that is kind of a must. Especially since I'm flying on Southwest, they do not have cords, so this is definitely a must for me if I'm going to be watching YouTube on my phone. Next thing I'm bringing is my mic. Now, I'm not packing this because, one thing, I have minimal space in it, and the next thing is I don't want this to get broken. I don't put any of my electronics in my um, suitcase. That is a tip. Do not put any electronics in your suitcase if you're going to be wanting them. Obviously, you're going to, but do not do that because... <laughs> What if your luggage gets lost or if it breaks? Just always bring your, like, um, delicates. Now, hand sanitizer is a must for me on planes. It is disgusting. Ugh, oh, I feel ah. <laughs> Dusty. It is yucky. It's germy. It's just, you don't know where everybody has been. So, 
hand sanitizer. That's like my own, one of my number one recommendations for you guys. A book. This is the Harry Potter and the Curse of Childs. I started reading this like a week ago, but I haven't gotten to reading it again. It is a very good book, so I'm probably going to be reading this on the plane. And then um, the next thing I have is my Polaroid. Now, once again, valuables, and I don't want to get this break, and I have a case on it, so... And you guys have a Polaroid, I really recommend, um, there's a magnet on here. Okay. So yeah, that is my computer, because, um, if I need to edit, if I need to, if I want to watch DVDs on here, then I will, and, um, yeah. Next thing I have are headphones, and I choose any, I choose in ear headphones over overhead head, headphones. These are just very comfortable, they do not hurt my ears whatsoever they're just very noise canceling and i just love these i don't know how they were off amazon they're just a very good buy on how i th I, th I thought they were like 10 20 dollars so they're very cheap for the quality and they have different little things so you can fit in your ears right the second to last thing i have is my camera box now i'm keeping this until i find a case for this camera and this just i'm gonna keep all my cords in here so i'm gonna get my charger for it Gonna keep my HDMI card, keep all the directions if I need to do anything. The last thing I have is a sweatshirt. Now, in Chicago, it is super cold. The problem is, I don't really have a winter sweatshirt here. I really only have a North Face, and that's not really that warm either. This is the like a very thick, durable sweatshirt because I don't ever need like a big fat coat here. So this is just very um, cool for comfortable. And when I get off the airplane, I do not want to be freezing. So has have somewhat of a coverage and I will be wearing pants on the plane. So so sorry I wasn't able to do a outro but just thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Can you guys see my video? No, that was creepy. Do you know So hey guys hey guys hey guys welcome back to another video and hey 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 guys, welcome back to another video featuring me, your favorite. I don't know what I'm doing. So.